Someone like you deserves the best send off. And there are so many beautiful things about you that deserve to be shared and recognized. For everything that you've done and given to this group and all of the work you put in, I hope you take this speech as a small thank you from us and feel as special as we all know you are. I first met you almost two years ago when you welcomed me into our perfect little six family. From the minute I got into Rezzo's, I quickly realized that you would not just be my friend, but a treasured part of my life. Even though we only shared two short years together in Rezzo's, I'm so lucky to have, had, to have had the privilege to adore your presence just as much as the rest of the group has. From my very first rehearsal, you became a role model to me, and I've strived to be even half as dedicated, hardworking, and genuine as you. Arden, having you as the music director this year has been the greatest gift we Rezzo's could have ever asked for. Knowing how deeply you care for this group, I'm sure you put a massive amount of pressure on yourself to be the best for us. But you can rest easy, because you are. From your very first rehearsal as MD, you have led us with kindness and belief in us. From leading us on stage and in rehearsals to the work you put in that we didn't even see, we are so grateful. We put all of our trust and faith into you because we had no doubt that you would lead us to the best of your abilities. Our group has had the great privilege of watching you grow, teach, and work with grace over these past two semesters, and the strides you have made will not be forgotten. When you really think about it, college is an interesting concept because you enter as a very different person than when you leave. After four short years, the relationships you made, the work you've done, and the things you've learned all leave with you when you graduate. While it makes me so sad about not seeing you around campus next year, I remind myself that the four years you've spent here at Colgate have given you the tools to help people in everything you may do. For those of you who may not know, Arden plans on becoming a doctor. The road to becoming a doctor is a long one, but if you spend time with Arden, you will quickly realize that it is exactly what she is meant to do. She truly possesses all of the qualities that all people in healthcare should have. To begin, she is one of the most hardworking people I have ever met. She handled impossible classes, shifts at the hospital, and stayed involved on campus, all while leading our group without a hitch. She is independent and determined, and does not shy away from challenges or obstacles. She also has an incredible sense of humor, which I know will brighten the days of those around her, as it has for us time and time again. Most importantly, though, she is kind. She is welcoming to all she meets. She cares about the people she loves, and she will not hesitate to help the people around her. I can name more times than one where I've been support, and without even having to ask, she was there for me. The healthcare field is so lucky to have you, Arden. You'll be gaining an amazing doctor one day, but more importantly, an outstanding person who genuinely cares. Arden, you are a gem, truly unlike anyone I have met and ever will meet. You mean more to me than I could ever express, but because gushing about you by myself doesn't do you justice, I asked a few of the resos for help. When I asked them to give me a few words to describe you, they called you strong, hardworking, silly, talented, academic weapon, resilient, and selfless. As I stand here today looking at our beautiful group, I know in my heart that I will not feel the same when you leave. Soon we will grow and welcome more resos into our lovely family, but I hope you know how irreplaceable your presence is and how dearly we will miss you. I can't wait to see everything you accomplished, and the world is so lucky to have you, and our group was so lucky to have such a perfect music director. We love you so much, and please come back to visit, because we will miss you.